At Lubbering Mid Park, I'm Ava. I'm Brad. And I'm AJ. And this is our special year end segment, our annual top five show. This is where we count on the top five things in different categories as decided by our class. Along with the top five BMHS events of 2023. And the top five sporting events of 2023. It's really been a great year. Personally, I like the Owl House finale. It was really good. Um, the Arrows Tour started this year. It was very cool. Okay, let's get started <laughs> with our number five event of the year. Coming in at number five is the BMHS Nature Club members dedicate the memory garden they provided, they created to provide a peaceful place for students and staff to sit quietly and reminisce. The evening dedicated dedication included a candle lighting ceremony and a memorial spice bush planting, which a Nature Club student explained will attract butterflies as it blooms each season. Attendees will also also received wildlife seed packets to take home. The memory garden will be here for many Number years. Top five. New music is always a huge part of the year. What were some of your favorite artists? Uh, I like AJR. You'll never guess. Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our top five video with the top five best music artists of 2023 from Oz and Adrian. Now here's your top five music artists of 2023. At least Taylor Swift. Is Morgan Wallen. It's your boy Drake. Four is artist Olivia Rodrigo. Five scissor. Now for our number four event of the year, students in Miss Collins' Microsoft classes ranked top five in these certifications. These students performed exceptionally well on these industry-recognized certification exams. Nine students from BMHS ranked in the top five, including Damarian Harris, who ranked number one in the Microsoft Excel certification. This was a huge accomplishment. Great job. So we covered music. Now it's time to talk about TV shows. Mine's the Owl House. <laughs> I really liked Yellow Jackets. Season two came out this year. Okay. Here are our top five TV shows of 2023 from me. Howdy folks, and for the top five horror adjacent TV shows of this year, we've got The Walking Dead, Dead City, it's Dead Last. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. The Last of Us. Wow, that's a lot of zombie shows. Uh, we've got the Chucky TV series. And then last but not least, certainly because it's at first place, we've got the American Horror Story show. Yeah, it's back. So, congratulations. Now, we have to throw it back. A little nostalgia, will you? What did you have in mind? Well, what was your favorite cartoon when you were growing up? Okay, I already Gravity Falls. Um, I already, yeah. uh, Gravity Falls, come on okay. now. Yeah. Hamza, Aiden, and Robert took us back to the top five cartoons from when we were little. Let's check it out. This marks the first part of our show, and when we come back, there will be a n whole different crew of anchors. We hope you have a great end of the year, Titans. See you next year. See you next year. year. Hello Titan fam, I'm Hamza, I'm Aiden, and I'm Robert, and these are the top five cartoons from 2000s to 2010s. Coming in at number five, we have Spongebob Squarepants, truly a classic. Without a doubt, one of the most beloved cartoon series of the 21st century, Spongebob has been iconic ever since its 1999 release. With over two decades and, continu and continued of episodes and several features film, this franchise has clearly stood the test of time. Coming in at number four, we got the spectacular Spider-Man. For the past two decades of Spider-Man, media has been complex to say the least, with several film series crisscrossing the MCU, video games, and appearance across multiple television series. The spectacular Spider-Man stands out among 
among his numerous depictions. It's truly a classic. Number three, we got Justice League, starring Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Martian Manhunter, and Hawkgirl. Justice League was truly composed of an ensemble of cast and characters. While it was only on the air for two seasons back in 2001, the series certainly left its mark, featuring an assortment of some of the greatest and most powerful superheroes in the DC Universe. The series is represented for its depiction of the comic book heroes it portrays, staying true to the tone of its comic book source material. Coming in at number two, we have Ben 10, truly a classic series in the Cartoon Network franchise. This show explores a young boy who gets a shape-shifting watch as he travels across the universe, fighting enemies and making sure of new responsibilities. <clears throat> Hello, Brave Mid Park. I'm Robert. I'm Aiden. And I'm Hamza. And we're officially taking over the top five countdown of 2023. This brings us to our number three. number three event this year. This one is near and dear to our hearts. The number three events are students enrolled in Polaris Career Center's Satellite Marketing and Entrepreneur Entrepreneurship Program and the Broadcasting and Video Production Program based in Siberia Mid Park High School won the Impact Teen Drivers Just Drive Social Media Campaign National Competition aimed at reducing distracted drivers driving. The first place 10,000 educational grant award will be used to further enhance both programs right here at BMHS. This was an awesome accomplishment. I wonder if we can do it again next year. We will just have to wait and see. Now, for our top five movies of the year from Logan, AJ, and Brad, and the top five superhero movies of 2023 from Johnny, Aiden, Jack, and maybe Ian. 2024, let's take time to remember what movies made 2023 a year in box office history. Starting at number five, we have another member of the Fast and Furious franchise, Fast X, grossing $704 million. Next, at number four, Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3, grossing over $850 million. Our third place contestant, Oppenheimer, grossed $950 million. In second, the Super Mario movie, grossing $1.3 billion. Finally, for our highest grossing film, <laughs> Barbie! Grossing a billion and a half dollars. That's it. Oh, Spider-Man, wow. <laughs> this is real. So are you like a cow or a Dalmatian? I am. The spot. <laughs> we meet again, Spider-Man. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our list of the top five superhero movies of 2023. 2023 was a big year for superhero movies with eight movies and a variety of TV shows made during this year. With that, these are the top five superhero movies of 2023. Number five, Shazam. Nice to see you because I'm not super old like you, <laughs> but I've seen all of the Fast and the Furious movies lately. It's all about family. The first Shazam was released in 2018, and this second release was a worthy follow-up. <laughs> I just threw a truck at a dragon. I love my life. Number four, Blue Beetle. The Scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. This movie was relatively unknown when it was first announced and flopped at the box office. However, it would later become popular after being put on the Mac streaming platform and would come to be one of the strongest movies of 2023. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. 
Let's party. Uh, yeah! Nice choice. Number three, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, but this time in the style of something like Into the Spider-Verse. This movie came out and had a strong debut in the box office and is a great superhero movie that came out this year. Yeah, she sounded like a leader. I do? Oh, I do! Oh, I sound like such a leader. And you ruined it. Ninja Turtles. Remember, don't let any human see you. Number two. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the highly anticipated third and final movie in the critically acclaimed Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, directed by James Gunn. This movie came out with high expectations and it delivered. The third movie in the trilogy raked in over $845 million at the box office this year. This movie was undoubtedly one of the best superhero movies of this year. Number one, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Yet another highly anticipated film, Across the Spider-Verse is the sequel to the 2018 film Into the Spider-Verse and is our top rated superhero movie of 2023. Can't stop me now. You can't run forever, kid. I can't lose one more friend. Well, this isn't what we talked about. You know? You have no idea what you're doing. Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. All stations, stop Spider-Man. You, 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 you. This concludes our list for the top five superhero movies of 2023. Thank you for watching. Let's get right back into it. I mean, let's talk about video games real quick. I dabble in 2K, Madden, Forza Horizon. What about you guys? Uh, um, Minecraft, man. OG. Come on. I've been playing uh, that God of, no God of War Ragnarok a lot. That's fire. That's fire. Fire. <laughs> Straight fire. Can't forget Spider Man. Uh, um, forget it. We have two game countdowns for you in our show one from Noah and one from Ed. Let's check them out. Welcome in, welcome in. Throughout my years on this earth, I finally understood why medias are good and why medias are bad. Of course, there are shows, movies, artists, song producers, things of that nature. However, I, since I was younger, I've been infatuated with games and animation. Games have had a spark with them that you can't get anywhere else. Stories too expensive for a book, visuals too expensive for a movie, and concepts too dark for everything else. So let's sit down, grab our cups, and enjoy some hot chocolate as I list my top five favorite games in my time on this very earth. Your discretion is advised. <laughs> Number five, Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. <laughs> Fire Emblem, also known as Anime Chess, is a game made by the company Nintendo, a very small company, by the way, <laughs> having 17 mainline games as of the time of recording this video, you'd think there'd be objectively a best game. And there is. <laughs> Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade, happened to be the first GBA Fire Emblem game and had hit the ground running with starting and stunning visuals for, for like the early 2000s. Of course, this is the last game, Japanese exclusive, that never came to the US. And it's a shame because, you know, it has unique, it has a really unique story. I'm just gonna say it. And also some of the worst mechanics with True Hit. Now, I'm not gonna talk about True Hit more. I just gotta say it. Fire Emblem's a really good game. I recommend checking it out. Uh, yeah, it is a tactical turn-based RPG, and I think you'll have fun with it. Number four, Frostpunk. Questions, and please pause the videos depending on if you are teaching a class or if you're watching this in post. 
just raise your hand if you believe you can keep morality no matter what. Pause the video if you can, or if you don't need to. I'll do give a brief pause for you guys so you can, like, <laughs> decide this. Okay, we're back. Put your hands down. You're all wrong. So, Frostpunk <laughs> is a city builder survival game that made me question, is this going too far? In the game, you have to manage the last group of humans from freezing to death after the Krakatoa explosion froze the whole earth over, and the only thing you have with that is a broken down generator you have to keep maintained as your city freezes and your people starve. It is a perfect city builder and a really good survival game. Now, <laughs> all, all of that, all of that is perfect as is. However, there's a mechanic in the game that I need to talk about real quick called the law system. The law system, there are concepts that made me think for 15 minutes, should I do it and should I not touch it with a four foot pole? That is not a joke, ask Tyler. You can see in the footage there are some questionable laws and those some of these questionable laws made me question myself as we played the game. Now, I recommend giving the game a shot. I will not spoil anything else from here. It is a really good game and my only complaint is that it's kind of a mixed bag. You either love it or you hate it and you know, some people hate it. I can't complain with that. Anyways, that's my number four slot. Picture this. You wake up in a dark room, lost and confused, then out of the darkness, two yellow eyes peer into your soul. They ask you to play a game. A game is a card game that has never been, you know, discussed upon or talked about. The choices are that or <laughs> execution, which is where inscription picks up, which is my number third option. Inscription is a really unique experience I recommend playing without spoilers, so I'll try my best without spoiling the game. In this card game, you must play for your survival, and you start getting these visions of something else as you play. It's, it's weird to explain. The card game has two different mechanics, the bone mechanic and the sacrifice mechanic, and as you progress the game, the mechanics increase and ramp up over time. And that is all I can talk about without spoiling the game. <laughs> That's my number three. <laughs> number two, Lethal Company. Lethal Company is a horror comedy game that you can play with your friends. However, oh, I just hit the mic. <laughs> However, unlike all the other games that I've talked about, I can't really bring it justice. So I'll give you a short little clip and you guys can watch it from there. It is, I, I literally cannot explain it. It's one of those things you have to watch rather than explain. That's horrifying. There's a ship. I'm gonna die. It's right behind me, isn't he? You little slick! I hope you get no boot! <laughs> uh... That was good. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. How'd you die? Um... I don't even remember. Oh, we stared at the bracket too long. It should Good night for my pulley. I, I like how it's just him typing. He is not going anywhere near me. Holy crap, it's behind him! Is it? Oh yeah, it is. He's it's behind. vibing. We stared at the bracket too long. It's behind him! Oh my god, how is he doing this? Turn he around, Arjun! Turn around! <laughs> Just turn around! He's gonna die. How is he alive? I don't know. How dumb luck. He's alive by dumb luck. What? Turn around! Turn around here. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no. Fight me. <laughs> Fight me. That's right. Come on. Come on. It's gonna actually kill him. And that's right. Run. Number one. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite game, dude. Spectrobes 
Origins. <laughs> you thought it was going to be a dark and depressing game, knowing the stuff on my list. Well, you're wrong. It's a Disney game. <laughs> Spectrum's Origins is my personal favorite game, not because of its mechanics, not because of the story, not because of the complexity, but because this was the first game that showed me how artistic, complex, and interesting games can be when I was a child. And I can't really explain it, but it's perfect in my eyes. I've seen stuff online saying it's not a perfect game, and you know, in my opinion, <laughs> they're right. But no amount of sword fighting, no amount of questionable laws, no amount of card sacrifice, and no amounts of cosmic horrors can break my touch with my favorite game. And this game is perfect to me. I recommend you give it a shot. I, I can't say anything else about it. Now, I want to leave you guys with a message here. Art in the world makes the world go around. Art is how we have progressed in humanity as the time periods go on. No matter how the presentation is, we all can appreciate the concepts and ideals like these that are shown. It's not hard to be yourself and express it in visual form. No matter how dark the world seems, you can always have something to keep your comfort with art. I recommend expressing that to... Um, I recommend expressing your artistic side and creating something. It doesn't have to be a drawing, it could be a video, it could be a game, it could be anything. Ah crap, my, co my hot chocolate got cold. Anyways, I must get going, and you guys should too. It's getting colder every day, and yeah. I recommend you guys have a really great Christmas, and if it's not Christmas, a really great summer, and if it's not summer. Okay, you guys have a great time. I'll be back. It'll just take a little bit. Night. Video games have been a go-to pastime for ages now, but they have often gotten complaints for being too graphic. Some have wanted a more laid-back sort of game. Because of this, cozy games have boomed in popularity. There are many games in the genre now, and so where to start? Here's the top five cozy games from the past 10 years. Number 5, Minecraft. Minecraft is the oldest game on the list, and it's a classic for many good reasons. The game put down the base for many cozy games to come, like calming music, freedom to do what you please, and a soft color palette. Number 4, Camp Together. Based on the anime Laid Back Camp, which is known for its cozy and heartwarming atmosphere, Camp Together aims to make a wonderful story available for everyone. Being the only game on this list that is playable for free, the game is about slowly building up your camp with the club members of the camping club. As always, kick back and relax. Number three, Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is an original game which follows the story of a person who leaves their life in the big city behind to take care of their late grandfather's farm. Here they not only tend to the land, but they also meet and interact with the people who live in the town nearby. This game has the cozy music and graphics you love about the genre, while also having an in-depth and lovable character that you can talk to. Number two, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is probably the most well-known cozy game on this list, and for good reason. The newest game is the one to have blown up in popularity. It follows your player as they move out to a remote island to build their own home and help their neighbors do the same. You will spend most of your time doing small tasks to earn bells, the game's form of money, to upgrade your home with the help of Tom Nook. Number one, Unpacking. Out of all the games on this list, Unpacking earns the number one spot for being the only game that is truly just comfort. While all the items on this list have the staples like cozy music, slow paced, and soft graphics, Unpacking is the only one to do that with no other stressors in the way. <laughs> Speaking of games, 2023 was a year of many great sporting events. My personal favorite got to be the Super Bowl. Like, come on. Classic. This marks the second half of our show, and when we come back, there'll be a whole new different crew of anchors. We hope you have a great end of, your, end of the year, Titans. We'll see you all next year. Now, let's check in with Oz and Logan for our top five sporting events of 2023. And remember, be respectful, responsible, and safe.
Good morning, Tide Sports fans. I'm Oz. And I'm Logan here with your daily TSPN. It's been a quiet, it's been a quiet, quite the year for the Titans Athletics. It sure has. And we're here to count down our top five picks for the best moments in Titan Sports of 2023. Number five, our competitive cheer team earns their spot at Nationals. Number four, Delton Wright finished second place in the Nike Indoor Nationals meet. Number three, our gymnastics team won the SWC title again and qualified for the state tournament. Number two, our girls softball team had a successful season making it all the way to the Sweet 16 this year and winning the district championship. Number one, our football team won a battle of Bagley versus Olmstead Falls for the first time in five years. It's been a year to remember. We can't wait to see what's in store for next year. Good luck to all of our athletes competing over break. Check out TitansAthletics.org for game and ticket information. Go, Go Titans. Titans! Hello, Bream Mid Park. I'm Noah. I'm John. And I'm Nick. And here we're taking over officially for the Top 5 Countdown of 2023. It's been a great year to sports in sports. It has also been a great year for videos from the class of 2023. Now we have the Top 5 promo videos for the senior class. All right, so probably starting out with Cookie Cram. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just because it's like a really short one. I mean, I see you're in Cookie Cram, so like, I don't know how much you can like, I can't really give much cram. of an opinion, but... I still say it was really pretty decent storyline, good editing, good acting by everyone involved. So. Well, it wasn't really a storyline, but I would say like I like the the sound effects, like the the classic yeah. Detmer, classic yes, Detmer yes, frown. Yes. Um, so I feel like I think like that one was that one definitely made the cut. Yeah. Um, probably next, I think like you know uh, last year's winter formal, okay. like, like yeah. dance yeah, yeah, video. Yeah. Um, I don't really like. I like the dancing. It's just like I don't know. It was, it was pretty repetitive. I'd it was say. just not a whole lot of but, not a whole lot of story. It was just Peter just jamming out and like. Yeah, he's got some moves though. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, but I would say like that yeah. was pretty good. I like that one. It was for a good cause too. Yeah, it was for a good cause. So. Um, that one was cool. Yeah. I like that one. Um, one I really liked from from this year, like just recently, was the. Uh, was the the turkey trot video? Yes, yeah, yeah. With uh, with Ray Tao and, and yeah. like and like the swamp behind, behind the school. Yeah, and uh, blending in. Yeah, he's blending yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Pe Camouflage. Pe Peter's going to hunt for him, and then yeah. he's like, "All right, like, you know, where is he?" At? Where is he? <laughs> I was looking for him on the screen too. Yeah. It's like, "Yeah, where is he?" And, and then they just he? they just did a classic like edit. They just like cut him in. I was so, like, "You saying, bro?" Yeah. Like, super bro. So top I like, tier editing. Yeah, that was funny. I like that one. Got a good little laugh yeah, out of definitely. me. Even though it was only, you know, it was only one video. There wasn't a series. I'd say. It was, yeah, it was, the series ones are the really yeah, good man. ones. Um, those are those are always the most fun. Um, and then we had Steph versus students basketball. Steph versus students. That was really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With when Ray Tao gets he gets his ankles broken oh, by yeah. Joey, and yep. then and then Peter just raises him with like I don't really know what's going on there, but it, it was good. Yeah. Um, Joey using his, uh, kicking his Crocs in yeah. sport mode. Yeah, you gotta and have then, sport mode if you're playing basketball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then, um, and then, uh, what did, what did they do in that one too? Oh yeah, they Sick had... dribble moves. Sick. <laughs> yeah, Joey's, uh, Joey's between bangers. the legs layup. Joey, Joey, yeah, Joey Almost one in. Almost one in. And then we had the Mr. Broughton graphic. Mr. Yes, Broughton at the end of the video. The, it, the video. I don't remember what NBA player that was, but it's such a... Well, it was, it was, it was Mr. Broughton. It was Mr. Broughton. It was KD. Um, and then... I think if we didn't, if we don't have a specific order. For, I don't have a specific order, but I think if it was number one, I think oh. everybody, I think everybody knows it's going to be Homecoming Candyland. Yes, for sure. Just because that just... that had me on the had me on the edge of my seat, and we actually we didn't we didn't watch the announcements in the second period a few days, so we missed a few parts. Of yeah, it. I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, what's going on? Like, I need to know what's going on. Yeah. But uh, just there was like, so much. There was so much lore. Like, it was just such just, a deep storyline. Yeah. I, really, <laughs> I was invested in it, man. Just with uh, definitely. Just with uh, Joey and Ray Tao with the with the music when he picks yeah, him up and he like <laughs> and he like spins around with him yeah. to, to with Pe to, to with Peter doing the like his like Hobbit walk. I don't even know what that was. And then he yeah. got Lord Licorice. Lord, Lord Licorice. Licorice. Yes, yeah. guest appearance by uh, Doctor Mac too. Jolly, he's the one that he got. He kidnapped Joey. He was dragging him across the floor. Remember oh yeah, yeah. I, oh yeah. yeah. Actually, I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, guest star. But uh, yeah, no, I think those are the ones that made the cut yeah. this year. I was very invested. So yeah. For sure. Now our number two event here at BMHS. Coming in at number two is the BMHS Performing Arts Group, who not only put in many amazing shows this year. Shrek and Clue were both fantastic. Typo. Students also had a chance to partner with Playhouse Square and Dazzle Awards for a unique opportunity for our students. Speaking of performances, 
Americans have an opportunity to put their talent on the small screen every day via TikTok. Here's Omar and Jeremiah counting down the top five TikTok trends of 2023. Number five, skip to the good part. It's so hard. Can we skip to the good part? Number four, phantom tags. What a cookie set. Three, ceiling trend challenge. <laughs> Two is the O'Daney challenge. Wanna chat about flow, tell a fella come save me. Boy, you know I'm magic on the mic. O'Daney, come on. With your number one, it has to go to the Grimace Shake. Hey guys, I'm here at McDonald's. I'm trying the Grimace Shake. You know, I've seen a lot of trends on it, so I'm just gonna get going with this. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Got a little bit of a kick. <laughs> this brings us to our top event of the year. Really? This is a series of events. Yes, a series of events with the Cleveland Browns. With the Browns practice facility in our city, we benefit from a great partnership with them. This year we participated in the Stay in the Game Attendance Challenge, which promoted being in school and connecting our high school students with our elementary kids. The Browns even loaned Mr. Fidali and Mr. Benzen and the marching band, the practice facility back in October. Our Grindstone Elementary second grade students created Get Well cards for Nick Chubb. Finally, past July, the Browns complete a high quality synthetic turf field project at our Lou Groza Field. We're lucky to have a truly great partnership with the Cleveland Browns. Well, Titans, I think that's officially signing off for the year. So what's everyone's plans for break? Get some victory royales. God. God. I'm gonna God. sleep. God, come on, man. Oh no, I'm gonna play. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna play some. Yeah, I'm gonna play some frost punk, man. Oh, scholarships, yeah. Amazing. And we look forward to next year. Remember what it means to be a titan. Be respectful, responsible, and safe. Have a wonderful day.